Black people are naturally bald headed. Black people don't know how to take care of their hair. Black people were born bald headed. Black people just bald headed. Yeah, I said it. Oh, it's just something my dark skin. Some of them be bald too. I need, I need light skin because they got long hair. You know, dark skin. Some of them be bald. I don't like that. They have too much gel in their hair and shit. I'm gonna just get on here and let y'all know truth. All these myths that are out here about black people and their hair, and even my black sisters who sometimes believe it. Like, stay tuned to the video, y'all. I am talking about the myth, the myth, the myth. What I'm talking about the myth, the myth that is being fed to people, especially our black people, about how our hair will not grow, cannot grow. We always bald headed. We got to put weave in it because we bald headed. We got to take all these different products because we bald headed. We don't know how to take care of our hair, and that's why we bald headed. <laughs> Women. Anyone who thinks that black people are bald headed, this video's for you. So first off, hair, our hair, every hair grows. Whether you are black, Chinese, white, Indian, or whatever ethnicity, your hair grows. Out of your scalp, your hair grows. Now whether you are able to retain that length because you are educated on what you need to do to take those steps is a different story. I know plenty of people including myself, plenty of people, black people who were born with a head full of hair. Like my hair in general is naturally thick. Like most of my family have naturally thick hair. I know people who have thin hair, but at the end of the day, just because we wear weave don't mean that we bald headed. Just because we get relaxers don't mean that we bald headed. Just because we make a choice because we have a preference don't mean that we're bald headed. Like why do we think that? Like we're not naturally bald headed. Like if we just leave our hair alone and let it do what it do, you will see that you're not bald headed. Getting trims will help you not be bald headed. Using the right products to help retain your length will help you from becoming bald headed. Hey dolls, enjoying the video so far? Stay tuned by subscribing to my channel as well as clicking the notification bell to be notified of all my mini videos that I love to post. Make sure you also comment down below on any questions that you may have on any video. Now let's get back to the video. I just wish that I could stop seeing people talking about how people are bald headed. They just use that word so loosely and literally believe that African American women don't can't grow their hair long. Like, girl, I know plenty of people who have their hair down to their waist. I was one of them that had my hair down my back. Our hair can grow. We just have to be educated in how to take care of it. I went to a cosmetologist, a natural cosmetologist, and I'm relaxed. And I remember her just telling me, oh, your hair is so, your scalp is so healthy. Like, she was able to see that my scalp was healthy. Like, you know, asking me what I do and such and such and such. I really listened to my hair. And what I mean by that, obviously, I know my hair is not really talking. But it will give you signs to let you know what it likes, what it doesn't like, what it needs, what it doesn't need. So, I know that my hair has to have a lot of moisture. My hair requires it. It has to have protein. There has to be a balance in our life in general. Same thing goes for our hair. So if we are taking care of our inside and taking care, our outside will show basically. So hair products to help retain our length is a must. We have hair. Like, who's saying this? Who came, who said this? Who? We got hair. I see so many women, though, women, more so of my color, I know, who wear, who's wearing these weaves and stuff, these wigs more so, and I'm not saying that the wigs, because it may just be how people are applying it, but I know for me, like the products that are used to glue down wigs, I cannot use them at all. Like it would not, my scalp, my skin literally feels like it's being burnt. 
So I just say this. <laughs> How we see people with no edges and things because they're not, you know, they're not listening to their hair. Our hair will grow if we take care of it. So I need y'all to start with the myth, the myths, <laughs> myth <of this. laughs> that black women do not have hair because we have hair. There's plenty of evidence to show that we have hair. Like this video or this video or this video. Like I have plenty of videos to show that girl, boo boo, we got hair, we just need to be educated. And I think that that, that will hopefully kill the the belief that we can't grow our hair i know people who are black who think that it is naturally bald-headed i'm like no girl let me take care of your hair for one month and watch your hair grow that's how i be feeling it let me take care of your hair for one month and watch your hair grow i know that it's just a lack of evidence or evidence the lack of education and women in general that then that belief of we're naturally bald or whatever else that comes with that so please stop with it we are not naturally bald headed we we come with hair <laughs> our hair can grow we just need to be educated on how to take care of our hair and you can have low porosity hair medium porosity hair and high porosity hair you just have to research to find out what your porosity is and then that way you'll know what products that work best with retaining your length that's the key so once you have that once you have that education that knowledge the sky's not even a limit so that's it dolls. I just want to kill the myth. Let y'all know that we can grow hair. It's proven. I have hair. And just because I wear wigs and weaves and things of that don't mean that I am bald headed. Make sure y'all subscribe, like this video, comment down below, turn on your notifications because your girl got videos that she's throwing out there and I want to make sure y'all catching them. Okay? So I'll see y'all later. Bye dolls. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa, whoa Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa, whoa And if I say it enough It gets ingrained in my head And I start to see Honey, I'm a perfect ten These expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa And if I say it